This is our valuation exercise where we're going to be doing a full three statement model of a company that you all know and love. Uh, Buffalo, Buffalo Wild Wings is a great company to value to start uh, because it's pretty straightforward. You've been to a Buffalo Wild Wings or know someone that has, you know what they do. They're a you know quick service or a, a sit down restaurant does you know primarily wings and sports. Um, beer wings sports, I think is their motto. So they do beer wings and sports. Uh, they you know have a pretty simple business model. They don't have too much debt. So it's a good place to start for someone that doesn't you know know all the terms uh, involved with a lot of the more complicated companies. Financial companies tend to be very hard to value. Um, so the first step to doing the model is inputting your historicals. It's very pretty tedious. I've done it for you here. Basically, what you do, how you do this, is you go to the company's website or the SEC filings, download their 10K, and you basically input all of these numbers one by one. You know, the 10K or the annual report has all of the financials for the last few years for each company, as well as a whole lot of information that you really need to know if you're planning on investing in this company. For example, their competition, their business model, they have notes in the financial statements, which would point to issues in the business that they maybe not want to publish front and center. Uh, there's just a whole wealth of information in that 10K that you absolutely need to rely on to understand this business. This class, this, this uh, series, will only focus on basic modeling techniques. It's not going to teach you whether or not you're reading this right or wrong. It's just going to teach you basic modeling techniques, how to get to the end, how to get to the discounted cash flow, how to get to a stock value. It's going to be your job to go in and make sure that all of these assumptions are right, that you're forecasting everything using the right metric, and that you really understand how this business runs. We are not going to do that here. Okay, so back to this model. I inputted the uh, financials. One thing that you need to do while inputting the financials is just taking that first look around uh, what it, uh, first look at what this company is made of. You know, is the revenue growing or shrinking? What are the significant portions of their costs? What is the significant portion of their balance sheet? What anything we should really focus on when we review that 10K? So as I inputted the sheet. And I noticed sales are going up by a lot, right? I, I didn't calculate the metric yet. Actually, I, took, I did. It's 20% a year, um, which is huge. It's really, really good growth for this company. I would want to dig more into seeing how they're doing this. Is it same store sale growth or is it new stores they're adding? Uh, can they keep this up? If it's new store additions, you can't keep that up forever. Um, in the sales growth, maybe the markets aren't growing that much and it's going to slow down. So these are things that you need to look at for the, the, uh, the revenue. Uh, a few other things I noticed, you know, this is a, a food service business, so it's typical for the cost of materials and labor to be pretty high. I like to do these things called uh, common size statements. Basically, it expresses every cost as a percentage of the revenue, so you can see what the big portions are. And you can see here that cost of uh, materials and labor are, you know, 60% of their overall you know, sales, sales. And that's, you know, it's pretty significant. Um, you've got you know, DNA, GNA. Um, this operating thing, I don't know what this is. I don't know what occupancy means either. So if I'm going through this for real, I'm going to go into the 10K and figure out what these two things mean. Uh, they may have, in fact, been typos on my part, but uh, you know, I would go back in and see that. Um, the next thing I'm going to do is go down to the balance sheet and put that in as well. Uh, balance sheet tells you, you know, exactly what your business has accumulated over time. You know, income statements just the last year. This is how much you sold. This is how much it cost. Balance statement is a it's a checkup. It's like your heart rate, it's and your sodium level that you've included over time. Um, this is you know your balance sheet where you've you generated this much cash. Sorry, collected this much cash net over time. 2014, their cash balance grew a lot. Uh, accounts receivable. This is how much account how many accounts receivable back to infinity that you have at this point in time. So again, I did a common size statement where you can find out as a percentage of total assets. What do each of these make up? And the big portions are, and the cash is pretty big, property, plant, and equipment is huge. This tells me that they're probably buying the real estate that they're on because property, plant, and equipment shouldn't be this high if they're leasing um, unless it's a capital lease. Those are you know, details we don't need to get, get into, but a lease would be on the income statement. Um, property, plant, and equipment, these are, this is really, really big. Uh, this tells me that they're trying to get into a little bit of real estate management, uh, so maybe not the perfect simple investment to understand. Uh, unearned revenue, uh, this is you know, revenue they haven't earned yet, but they've collected on. Uh, deferred taxes, deferred lease credits, these are all a little bit more complicated. You would really need to dive into the 10K to see what these are about. We're mostly going to skip these for the valuation. Anyway, at the end of the day, you want to check to make sure your numbers are right. So 
Uh, I make sure that my assets equals liabilities and owner's equity. I double check these numbers with the 10K to make sure I didn't you know, fat finger anything. All of my inputs are in blue. All of my formulas are in black. And I'm ready to go um, and go, in, go ahead and make some projections, which we're going to do next.